Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So the Division 2 is out for Gold and Ultimate Edition owners, but the Standard Edition will release tomorrow night around 12 a.m. depending on where you are in the world. Uh, it's currently Wednesday the 13th at around 2 o'clock when I'm recording this. So that means you have another 36 hours or so until the game launches, um, in the U.S. that is. And seeing as Eastern Standard and Pacific Standard are nearly 15 hours behind Australia, that means the American servers are going to be one of the last servers to launch tomorrow, which sucks. So, um, But yeah, which ultimately means you're going to be about 15 hours behind all of the other Standard Edition owners. Um, that is, unless you use this little trick. Uh, which I can 100% guarantee that it works and you won't be banned or have your character reset um, as long as you follow these instructions. I did this Monday morning around 9 a.m., which was 13, about 13 hours before I was supposed to be able to play. Um, so, yeah, I did it around 9 a.m. when the first servers went live in Australia and been playing ever since. Um, so, yeah, you can, you can always just wait and play. And when everybody else, when the game actually launches and the servers go live in America... But if you want to get in a little earlier than everybody else, then just do this little trick. Um, so here's the launch schedule. You can see that everyone is having to wait until the clock hits 12 a.m. on the 15th, depending on where you are in the world. You can see here that Australia is about 14 hours ahead of us. So that means they're getting to play 14 hours before um, everybody else playing in America. Uh, so what we're going to do is head over to a website called NordVPN. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and they're currently running a seven day free trial. So this method is 100% free. This is the VPN service that I use so I can confirm that this works. Um, just remember to cancel the subscription after you do this or they will charge you monthly. Um, okay, yeah, so download NordVPN, install it, and it's gonna give you a little icon on your desktop that looks like this. So, oh, and I forgot to mention, I am playing on PC, so I cannot confirm personally that this works on console. Um, but when I was looking on Reddit for how to do this, I saw several people saying that it also works for console. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, open up NordVPN, and you're going to scroll over here to Australia. You're going to click Quick Connect, and boom. There you go. You're officially on an Australian IP address which will allow you to connect to the servers in Australia when they go live tomorrow, Thursday the 14th at around 9 a.m. in the morning Eastern Standard. Um, well, they'll be going live at 12 a.m. on the 15th, but for us in America, it's going to be the 14th at 9 a.m. in the morning um, on the East Coast. If, if you're on the West Coast, it'll be even earlier than that, so like 6 a.m. in the morning. But yeah, I'll just open up the game so you guys can see that it actually works and I'm actually able to connect to the game. Um, so I'll let that load. Also, an important thing to know is that you will have some pretty high ping and latency, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not terrible by any means. It's definitely playable. And I mean, you're going to be playing the campaign and PvE content in the first 20 hours anyway, so it's really not a big deal. Another thing before I forget, when you get connected and you're in the game, Leave the VPN up and stay connected to the Australian server until the servers go live wherever you are in the world. So, like, for instance, if you're on the East Coast and you connect tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., leave the VPN up until 12 a.m. Friday morning or Thursday night, however you want to look at it. Um, a guy in my clan spoke to a Ubisoft employee and basically said that if you connect to a foreign server to get in early and then once you're in the game, you um, connect back to your country of origin server before they are live in your region, then they'll be able to see that and could possibly result in a band or a character wipe. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Just, just stay connected until the um, servers go live in your country. It's really not a big deal. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, as you can see, I'm in the game, having no issues. It's, I mean, it's got a little bit of lag, but it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so I hope you guys are able to use this and get in the game a little bit earlier than everybody else. Uh, if that's something you're interested in doing, if you're like me and want to play the game like as soon as possible, <laughs> uh, I just I couldn't wait, dude. I was like, dude, these, everybody's playing. I can't, and like, this sucks. Like, we gotta wait 16 hours, 15 hours. 
So yeah, um, enjoy the early access, I guess. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Division 2 content. I'll be uploading some gameplay of me soloing the invaded strongholds either later today or tomorrow sometime. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Later.